Okay, I have received and acknowledged the full script. I'm ready to begin narrating. Welcome to AGI Tutorials. Uh, I'm excited to introduce a fascinating new tool that's revolutionizing podcast creation, the AI-powered podcast generator. This Python-based solution is absolutely incredible. It really is. Um, what amazes me most is how it uses Google's generative AI to create such natural-sounding conversations. Could you walk us through what makes this tool special? Of course. Um, the standout feature is its ability to convert text scripts into realistic audio using multiple distinct voices. In fact, the voices you're hearing in this podcast were created using the same GitHub repository that powers this tool. You can choose from five different voices, giving your podcast a truly dynamic feel. That's fantastic. But uh, I imagine there are some technical requirements to get started. What do our listeners need to know about setting this up? Great question. Uh, you'll need Python 3.8 or higher and FFmpeg installed on your system. The installation process varies slightly depending on your operating system. Windows users need Microsoft Visual C++ 14.0 or greater, while Linux and Mac users can install dependencies through their package managers. Let's break down the installation process. So what's the first step after getting those prerequisites sorted? First, you'll clone the repository from GitHub using a simple git clone command. Then, you'll want to set up a virtual environment. This keeps your project dependencies isolated and clean. That's a good practice. And I understand there's a requirements.txt file that handles all the Python packages needed? Exactly. Once your virtual environment is activated, just run pip install r requirements.txt and it'll install everything automatically. The final setup step is to go to Google AI Studio, create an API key, and update it in a .nv file along with your preferred voices. This ensures the tool can access the generative AI services. Speaking of voices, I hear there's some pretty robust error handling built in. Could you tell us more about that? Absolutely. The system automatically retries up to three times if there's a connection failure, and it handles all the temporary audio files beautifully. Everything gets cleaned up automatically, and you end up with a single final underscore podcast.wave file. This sounds incredibly user-friendly. So what would you say to developers who might want to contribute to the project? It's open source under the MIT license, so anyone can contribute. Just fork the repository, create your feature branch, and submit a pull request. The project structure is very clean and well-documented. This is truly impressive technology. Any final tips for our listeners who want to try it out? Yes! Make sure to check your system path for FFmpeg and keep your API key secure in the .n file. And remember, you can always deactivate the virtual environment when you're done by simply typing deactivate in your terminal. Thank you for this comprehensive overview. It's amazing to see how AI is making podcast creation more accessible to everyone. Absolutely. And remember, folks, all the installation instructions and documentation are available in the repository. The link to the repository can be found in the description of this video. Happy podcasting!